Hey everyone, welcome back to another very exciting Unity VFX particle tutorial. And today we're going to be working on this volumetric fog effect that you see here in the background. Now, this effect is actually in a lot of ways better than the image effect, the global fog image effect that's included in the standard assets package uh, that comes with Unity because it uses actually real textures for the fog. So you can bring out a lot of the intricacies and details. Uh, namely, the textures I'm going to be using for this are from my Ultimate VFX Particle Pack, which if you have, you can follow along, or I'll just show you the textures now so you can make something similar. I've got this uh, huge, you know, 8x8 eight eight, uh, fire sprite sheet, which I like because, again, you know, it's got a lot of details in the textures of the fire. And the other thing I'm going to be using, the other sprite sheet, is this collection of smoke puffs, these noisy smoke puffs, which isn't an animation unlike the previous one, but it does have... Uh, a bunch of them sorted into a sprite sheet, which makes it easy for randomization. And you'll see what I'm talking about later when we get to that part. Another great thing about this effect that effect is that it's actually a local effect. You can make it a local effect. So, for example, if, you, if you've got a really, you know, shady-looking alleyway in a city, you can just place that effect, uh, you know, somewhere in the alley, uh, whereas the rest of the city might be otherwise visually very clear and easy to navigate. And before we get started, I do want to show you that there are separate components to this effect. The first one is just the bottom layer, which, you know, on its own actually looks pretty nice, but just to give it some more depth on the height, I actually added another layer using the smoke puffs texture to give it that extra edge. And if I zoom out, you can see just like the, the previous effects that I've done, again, it's just, you know, a boxed emitter of sorts, which you can move around and have uh, following the player around so that they're enveloped in fog at all times, or you can just place it somewhere in the world to create a volume fog effect. You can see because I've got a very low soft particle setting, it very easily blends into the environment and goes through solid objects without looking like there's a bunch of billboards there. Another cool thing about this effect is that it actually looks good even just using the default particle system. So if I just hit the default particle system, disable texture sheet animation, uh, you can follow along that way too if you want. So you get this sort of effect instead, which I think still looks pretty nice. Okay, so let's just get started. Of course, the first thing we're going to have to do is create a new particle effect. So let's just create a new particle system. And I'm going to turn the start speed down to zero. And just reset this quick and move this up maybe a little bit, bit above the ground. Uh, set the shape to a box emitter, okay, and then make it, maybe make it 10, 1, 10. So you can see it's covering an area like so. Next thing I might want to do is actually select the texture I want to use. So in this case, I want this real fire texture uh, sprite sheet, which I'm going to open up. So just type in real fire. The one I want is the alpha blended one, so with half color right here, so it fades in and out easier. And let's just turn the color over lifetime up so it fades in and out. So I've got one here, turn this down to zero, one here, turn this down to zero, and then just slap one somewhere in the middle, 50%, and then turn that alpha up. So now you can see they're fading in and out. Now this obviously looks really bad, so what you're going to do is use enable the texture sheet animation module, uh, but in, and this is going to be an 8 by 8 uh, frame sprite sheet. So you can see now it's animated, but that isn't really what we want. Actually, what we want is to, first of all, let's just check which frames we can use. So using just the uh, constant frame over time mode, you can actually see what an individual frame of this texture might look like. So we maybe want to use somewhere between around, let's say, I don't know, 24 to 38 or something, okay? So what we can do is create a random between two constants, 24 and 38. The reason we want to do that is just so we have a little bit more of a variation in the texture that's being used, right? So these are the good frames that we want to use for our uh, actual fog texture. And then what we're, we're going to do is enable random rotation, because right now these look way too uniform. And that's looking a bit better. Now if we just turn the size up to maybe, I don't know, Let's say 3 and 5. That's a pretty good effect. So that looks like fog already. It looks really bad because it's fading in too quickly. Let's maybe make that 12. Um, turn this down to 128. And then let's see how low we can turn the alpha down. Right? We can make this actually white, but turn the alpha way down. 
like so. And then change the start lifetime to be somewhere like between 8 and 12 seconds. Okay, so we've got a very rough effect going on here. Uh, we can actually randomize these two colors, so copy this, paste this. Maybe this is something like 12, and this is this is fine as 24. Let's see. Maybe we can have a few. So that's not too bad. Uh, next thing we might want to do is just enable some rotation over lifetime. Random between two constants. Sometimes it's negative 10, sometimes it's 10. So there's a little bit of rotation going on. If you want, you can actually also... Uh, randomize the direction completely and enable a little bit of speed if you want them to be moving around. In this case, why not? I don't think in the previous effect that was happening, but we can make them slightly animated to give it a more uh, fluid look. And then what we just have to do is actually, let me just create a new um, new particle system. I'm going to make this not emitting. Disable the renderer. This is just going to be our folder particle system in a way, so I'm just going to put this one in this one. Set that to 0, set that to 0 0.5. So that's just containing this particle system because we're going to have another one. Uh, so that's just our base fog layer. Next, we want to duplicate this, and this is going to give us some variety. So let's move this up maybe 1.5, so it's a little bit more in the air. So that looks nice, actually. This on its own... Uh, is perfectly fine. You can make this work, right? So now that I've duplicated the texture, I've got two copies of it, one at 0.5, another one at 1.5, all in some sort of folder particle system. The reason I did that is just so uh, the particles, I can just hit this, right, to play the entire effect. Now you see it takes some time to load in, so instead what I want to do is just pre-warm this effect so that when I hit play uh, for previewing, it's all ready to go for me. So this on its own, is not bad. It's pretty good. I mean, you can always keep tweaking it so it's not maybe so, uh, you know, in your face or whatever. But this on its own could work. So next what we're going to do is we're going to take the second particle system. We're going to find the smoke puff texture. So we just type in smoke P. That's good enough, really. And just, if I type in alpha after that, uh, I get the texture that I'm looking for. So I want maybe mm, this one right here. Okay. And the, the HC just stands for half color. So unlike the other textures, uh, other materials, this isn't boosted all the way to maximum. Okay, so for this one, again, the texture sheet has to be modified because this isn't an 8x8 texture sheet, uh, sprite animation or sprite sheet. It's 4x4. So I just need to just modify this quickly to 4x4. And because it's not an animation, I know that all the frames are good. I can use any of these, any from 0 to 15, right? So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever, 15. So I can just do um, choose any frame randomly between 0 and 15. Right, so that works. Uh, for this one, maybe I want it to be a little less obvious, so maybe I can make it 8 and, I don't know, 20, so it's a little bit more faded out. For the bottom one, and I think that actually looks pretty good. I mean, again, you can keep tweaking it as much as you want. Uh, if you want it to be following the player around without, you know, just immediately dragging around, you can just set these to use world space simulation. So I'm just going to name this to... Fog lower and fog upper. It's also really easy to layer this system. So for example, let me just play this and I'll show you something. So you've got this sort of effect going on. Maybe you want to duplicate it again, right? And move this up. So now you got clouds or something. That's what you wanted to go for, right? So you've got a very in-case effect. There's a lot of potential with this. It's really simple to do, as you saw. I mean, it didn't take us more than, you know, several minutes, I think. Uh, if you want to do it again, you could probably do it in a minute or two tops. Anyways, thanks for watching. I think this looks pretty good on its own. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and check out my asset, Ultimate VFX. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. It's got all these textures. It'll have this exact same prefab that we made. I'll just name it, like, Silent Hill Fog Tutorial or something and leave it in there. And thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.